Hey, it's Jared. Today we're going to talk about setting recurring tasks in Notion. Now this is something that you still can't do as long as we've wanted it as an option. It still has not come to Notion. Some people have come up with some pretty creative ways on how to set recurring tasks, but I haven't found anything that really just works well that is going to require me going in and doing something to initiate it every single time. There are tasks that I have every single day, maybe once a week, maybe once a month, and I want to set those to automatically populate. And you can do that with Zapier. Since Notion has uh, its API and Zapier can connect to it, we can set up automated tasks that are triggered by Zapier. We actually don't even need another tool in order to do this. So let's take a look at the process. We're looking at my task manager right here. Um, I have my tasks tied to a lot of things like projects, clients, contacts, um, lots of things. I mean, pretty much everything that is in Notion, my tasks tie to one way or another. And I've talked about that in other videos. I have templates on my task manager, project manager, all that good stuff. Links are down in the description below so you can check that out. So we're not gonna dive deep into how to build a task manager. I may do that, uh, a revised version of that in another video. So make sure to click that subscribe button so you can be notified when that is available. But we have a task manager here, very simple. What we are gonna need to do though is go over to Zapier and we're gonna create a Zap. Now, many people think of Zapier as a tool that connects two different tools together. And while it does that and does that really well, we can also create a Zap that initiates something straight from Zapier. It's called a scheduled Zap. And so we're going to create a custom Zap. We'll hit Open Editor. And I am going to title this um, Drink Water Every Morning. And so this is just a simple uh, trigger that's gonna be set up every single morning. And this is just an example. Um, we're gonna use the schedule option over here on the right hand side. Here on the left, we see all of the different apps, but we're just gonna use the schedule tool and select that. So now it says schedule by Zapier. That's uh, the, the name of the app. We're gonna choose a trigger. We can choose every week, every day, every month, every hour. So I'm gonna choose every day and then I'll hit continue. And this is where we get to choose the time of day. And so I could choose say, you know, 7 a.m. I wanna make sure to drink water every morning, 7 a.m. We'll hit continue. And then I'll test that trigger and it's just gonna show me kind of what this looks like. It's not anything special, but uh, I can look to make sure that you know, if this was to trigger today, here's all of the uh, information that it would show. So I'm gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna move on down and type in Notion. Now you need to be connected to Notion with Zapier. If you haven't done this yet, you'll wanna go through the process of connecting Notion to Zapier. I have a video on how to do that and I'll link to that down in the description below so that you can watch it. It can be a little bit tricky to connect Notion and Zapier. Once you've done it, it's easy to remember, but it is a little tricky and I'll show you one of the areas that most people often go wrong when their particular database does not show up in Zapier. So first thing, I'm gonna choose an event and we want to create a database item. I'll click continue. Here, this is where I would choose my Notion account. You can actually have multiple Notion workspaces uh, configured in here. So you wanna make sure you choose the right workspace. And then uh, I will choose my database. And so I'm gonna choose my tasks database. And I only have a few databases that show up in here um, because I only have a few databases that I've given access to uh, Zapier. Now, if you don't see your databases in there, you've done the connection and you're thinking, why aren't my databases populating? It's likely because you haven't shared that database with Zapier. And so you have to go up to the share tab here. Uh, you then need to go to and click the invite button. And then the Zapier connection that you've created will show up in here and you can invite Zapier 
to uh, have access. And once you've done that, it will show up here and say Zapier integration shared with workspace. So if you're not seeing it, that's probably what's happening. And um, you just need to get that set up. So now I can uh, put in my task name, drink water, um, whatever, maybe 12 ounces, just to be specific. Um, I can choose, these are all of the different fields that are in my database. And so this may look different depending on uh, what you have. So you can see I've got a task name, I've got the checkbox to check it off, I've got the due date, um, the area of, uh, of my life, I've got the status, uh, priority and then a bunch of other things that this can tie into that are linked databases. Um, so those are all options that are going to show up here for me to connect things to. So uh, I'll want to make sure this checkbox is set to false. Um, I can choose my priority, like maybe it's a high priority. I just want to make sure that I get that done and it sticks out to me every morning. Um, for me, I log typically how much time a task takes me, especially if it's a client-related task, but that's not really going to matter. I'll choose uh, that it's uh, the area of my life is personal. Um, I'll want to put the due date. And so the due date, this is what's going to be important to have the due date in there because for me, the due date um, can be different than the actual created time of the task. And so the due date for me, um, I will want to insert uh, the specific date. And so this information that it's showing right here, it says, you know, pretty date, September 2nd, 2021. That's using the previous example from the last step. So it's not going to populate September 2nd, 2021 every single time. It's going to populate the date that the scheduled zap is giving it. So I would want that. I would want the date and I could even um, set the time as well. So uh, if I put the time in there, but I'm just gonna go with the date, that's fine. Um, URL notes, these are all additional areas that I have. Um, I'll put next up as the status. Like I said, these are all options that are custom to my specific task manager, but I'm showing you these because we can configure all of these and then when the task is created and added, we have all of these things pre-configured. Um, you can see like invoiced is one because uh, a lot of times my tasks are for client projects and I need to, make, I need to know whether or not I've invoiced for that task or not. Um, and so all of these things are custom to, uh, to my specific task manager. And for whatever reason, tags is not loading here and, and assigned to is not loading. One of the cool things that you can do with Zapier is just simply hit the refresh button. Even though we haven't you know hit a save button or anything like that, I can hit update and it's not gonna cause a problem. And so you can see here, it looks like uh, it did fix the issue. I could assign this to myself or I have uh, an employee that I share uh, access to my tasks and then of course my tags. And so these tags are uh, how I kind of categorize my tasks when they are, because you have tasks that maybe span different areas but have a similarity to them. And so um, I can also tag those tasks as well and hit continue. So this is now done and the last thing to do is to click test. And so I'm going to test and continue. And then once uh, this is done and I've confirmed that everything looks good, I could turn the zap on. And then because this is a daily zap, it's going to trigger every single day. So now let's go over to Notion. You can see that I've got drink water 12 ounces. It's got today's date, September. It's in the personal area. It automatically assigned it as next up, a high priority. Um, and you know that's really about it. That's all that I configured and I could look at that. You can see that it did assign it to me um, and that's it. And so now, of course, when I accomplish this task, I would go in and click done and then for me, choose completed and then boom, that's done and off of my task list for the day. And I know that I've completed that task. Now, drinking water every morning, this might not be the best example of how to automate tasks being added, but I wanted to show you how to add recurring tasks to Notion because that has been one of the biggest things that we've wanted for so long is the ability 
to create recurring tasks. Now the only downfall here is that for every recurring task you create, it's going to require an additional zap. And so when I go and look at Zapier, and so I'll, I'm going to share this with you as well. So this uh, link that I'm going to provide um, down below is going to give you access to this zap. So you can just straight up install the zap and then configure it to your needs, changing the, the name of the zap, changing uh, when it triggers and all that good stuff. But it will create the connection for you already and then you can come in and set it up. Uh, but one of the things that's going to be challenging about this process is that you will need to have a bigger plan. You can see I'm on the starter plan, which gives me 20 zaps. And so that's a plan that I have to pay for. They have a free plan, of course, and you can get a couple of zaps with that. But in order to get uh, a lot of zaps, you're going to have to have a, uh, a paid plan. And utilizing it in this way is, is going to come with a cost. So you can see I'm spending about you know, $13.75 a month so that I can have 20 zaps and I'm, I'm not quite using as many as I should. I have five zaps that are available on the free. So you can get your feet wet for sure in doing this. Uh, try out the free plan, set up some of these, see if it works for you. And if it's worth it, I mean, it's to me it's worth $13.75 a month. I pay for a year at a time and I can create these zaps and, uh, it, uh, and automate some of these things in my life that take time out of my day and I often forget to do. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you found it useful. This is something that I've wanted uh, to be able to do for a very long time and I just now realized that I could set up scheduled zaps to create automated things that would recur in Notion, which is absolutely fantastic. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel here. Hope to see you back in another video soon. Take care.